Hello and welcome to this podcast brought to you by the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association. My name is Malcolm and I am a retired consultant surgeon and throughout my career I had a particular interest in the care and treatment of cancer patients. Presently I'm chairman of the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association. And I'm Sandy, Executive Officer of the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association and a cancer survivor. In this podcast, we want to talk about the various cancer screening programmes available on the Isle of Man and the importance of taking part when you receive an invitation. Cancer screening programmes were introduced following research that showed that participants in such programmes benefit from enhanced survival from the disease as the tumour is usually detected at a very early stage. There are also other criteria attached to screening programmes around cost and benefit and minimising any potential harm to individuals participating. We know that most cancers arise from either a single or cluster of rogue cells that start to grow and divide in an uncontrollable way. Initially, and often for many years, this enlarging group of cells does not impact on your well-being. In other words, you don't have any symptoms at this stage. At the later stage, a lump known as a tumour will develop and gradually enlarge and give rise to symptoms related to the tumour. Detecting a cancer or a cancerous tumour at the earliest possible stage means that it is smaller, likely to be localised and therefore easier to remove or treat. This will result in less disruption to your normal life and a better chance of you being a cancer survivor. Benjamin Franklin was right on the money when he suggested an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Preventing any illness occurring is obviously the best way to combat any disease. Vaccinating teenage girls against certain strains of the human papillomavirus will avoid the majority of them ever developing cervical cancer. However, when that isn't possible, detecting any illness early, including cancer, is a good second best and results in enhanced outcomes. This is why screening programmes are so important. They find cancers at this very early stage and in the majority of cases well before they have had a chance to spread. Screening tests are usually are, are used to look at abnormalities that may indicate that there are some potential cancerous cells present in an individual who is otherwise entirely well. Cancer screening programmes are not for individuals who have symptoms. They need to go to their GP and undergo thorough investigation. The initial abnormality on the screening test may also arise from non-cancerous conditions, so further investigations are often needed to be carried out. Receiving a recall letter after the initial investigation does not mean that you definitely have cancer. Screening programmes at present only exist for certain tumours, cervical cancer, breast cancer and bowel cancer. Cervical screening has been available for over half a century. Women aged between 25 to 49 years of age are invited to attend cervical screening every three years, with women aged between 50 to 64 years old being invited every five years. A letter is sent in the post to say that your cervical smear test is due and you'll need to make an appointment at your GP surgery or the Staywell Clinic to have this done. The cervical smear test involves taking a small sample of the cells from the cervix, which is then sent to a laboratory to be checked. We appreciate that some women may be put off by the thought of the test and it may feel a little uncomfortable, but it shouldn't hurt and it really only does take a few minutes. We also understand that some women may feel embarrassed undergoing such a procedure. Alaman Anti-Cancer has run the Staywell Clinic since 1964 and offers women the chance to have their cervical smear test taken in a female-only clinic outside of usual office hours. It's held in the Women and Children's Outpatient Department at Nobles Hospital on Monday and Thursday evenings. So when you receive your letter to say your cervical smear test is due, the leaflet enclosed with the letter gives you details about how to make an appointment at the Staywell Clinic. Breast screening has been available on the island for a number of decades and uses a mammogram to detect any abnormality in the breast. Women aged 50 to 70 are invited, although those aged over 70 can also request screening. For every 200 ladies who undergo a, go a screening mammogram, six to eight of them may be recalled for additional tests, but only one will have a tumour. The remaining of those recalled will have simple benign disease. There are calls for broadening the age range, particularly at the young end, but with the incidence of breast cancer being lower and mammograms more difficult to interpret in younger ladies, it produces a higher number of recalls with the associated distress to these women. The island also introduced a bowel screening programme in recent years. 
Bowel cancer is one of the more common cancers with 80% of cases occurring in the over 60s. The Bowel Screen programme involves taking a test in the privacy of your own home which can identify blood in your poo. Both men and women in the age range 60 to 75 will receive a letter every three years informing them that they will receive a bowel screening test in the post sometime in the following weeks. Those over 75 can request a kit. It's important to ensure that you are registered with a local doctor's surgery so that when you reach the correct age, you receive an invitation to take part in the screening. The test kit also contains full instructions on how to complete the test as well as an envelope for their return to the lab for analysis. As Sandy says, the test kits identify tiny traces of blood in samples and can thereby detect polyps before they develop into cancer. A good tip is to place the kit beside the toilet together with disposable gloves and a container and a pen to fill in the date so everything is ready for use. It is very important to complete the kit, don't just ignore it, and make sure samples are taken on three separate dates. Alum and anti-cancer would encourage everyone to attend screening when it is offered, as this is an excellent way of detecting problems at the earliest possible stage in the development of cancer. If you would like to know more about screening on the island or about the signs and symptoms of cancer, you can visit the Macmillan Cancer Information Centre in the atrium at Nobles Hospital or contact them on 675 0735 or visit their website macmillan.org.uk. The number for Macmillan again was 650735. If you want to find out when your cervical screening is due, then you can contact the screening office on 642640. To make an appointment with Staywell Clinic, you can call 642638. And if you require information on the HPV vaccination, you can call and speak to Public Health on 642639. There are also details about cervical screening and HPV vaccination on the gov.im website in the health and well-being section. For more information on breast screening, you might like to visit the Breast Cancer Now website, which is www.breastcancernow.org. For women over the age of 70 who would like to self-refer for breast screening, this can be arranged by telephoning 685339. Anyone over 75 can request to take part in the bowel screening programme free of charge by calling 0800 707 6060. Just tell them you live in the Isle of Man and would like a test kit. If you have any problems about bowel screening on the island, you are welcome to contact Bowel Cancer Isle of Man by telephone at 480973 or look at their website at www.bowelcanceriom.com. Thank you for listening to this podcast.